Let's go drill a hole, Jack. Looks like she knows where she's going. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing here? Well, I am making a little something for the pole to rest on. All right, what do we got today? We got some of these little devils. Oh boy. Oh boy. Little mealworm. Just string them on like that. There you go. Keep an eye on that pole. can't understand why we haven't put any on the ice yet. She's getting impatient with us. She's ready to chew on a bluegill or a crappie. Oh, had a hit. Somebody's interested in what's going on. I got me a weight. Come here! That's gonna be the copy getter, the bass getter. What if we just use that one regularly bass fishing in the summer? Go get him. Go get him, go get it. Okay, so we had to change batteries out because just realized our batteries went dead and about two minutes later I catch a nice bass. I go to stick him back in the hole for a little bit so Alan gets new batteries and he comes off the hook. So yeah, now we got to reload. Alright, let's see if we can get something else to get on the line here. That was a nice heavy bass too. He'd been eating good in the neighborhood. I just jigged it a couple times after dropping it down. Went to pick back up on it, it was real heavy. Now he was 14 or 15 inches. It don't mean nothing though if I can't get another one back on here to show you. At least we did catch something. It's been slow tonight. And we're about to get dark. About to get real dark on us. I'm right over these Christmas trees. This one was actually snagged on it earlier. I had to tie a new lure on. Well, last year when she was out here with us, she'd be standing and she'd have one paw in the air. Then she'd switch paws. Then she'd switch paws. Like this. Yeah. So we got her these. They got some good rubberized tread on the bottom. Yeah. Since you're that house dog, that don't get out enough. Well, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. I knew that would happen right before we get a new spot. I don't even know spot, but. Nice on there, shotgun. didn't know. I caught one. And then, I, this is my third one. And Dad caught a small one, but Dakota kind of ate it, so you gotta kind of keep it. Hey, Lon. What is that? You got a game? You gotta get that move, y'all. Huh? Did you get it? Are you gonna eat it? Does that look tasty? Oh, there's another one. I missed him, Dakota. Oh, she got him now. 
You're taking him into the snow. Get your fish. Did you get it? Get it. Get it out of the snow. Take it over to Alan. Is that cold? Cold and pokey? Take it to Alan. See, you need the garlic scented, Pam, and that'd really get the fish fired up. Kabam. Kaboom. Yeah. Well, it's actually a new uh, cereal they're coming out with. It's high in fiber. Cleans out your colon. Kaboom. New from Whammo. You remember the old dip sauce? Here up on St. Clair, I wanted some garlic scent to put on my soft plastic tubes for smallmouth fishing. And we went to Cabela's and somewhere else, and neither, neither of the places we went had any. So we ordered a pizza that night and got garlic cheese sauce with it. And we were using that to dip our tubes in. Oh, big boy. Come here. There's one. Little gomper. You're knocking back in the hole for me? There you go. Good girl. She put him back in the hole. Wow, so that was a nice cold adventure. Uh, time to warm up, huh? We got, our, we got our hot chocolate and our deer salami. Deer salami, have a little snack, a little warm up. We're going to see what the weather's going to hold for tomorrow. We'll find out if there's any school. Yeah. I know I'll have to go to work. Hopefully not. That's a given. I hope I get to go to work. I have fun there. Well, usually. Yeah, we'll go with that. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for sticking the video out. And, you know, going from the ice to the kitchen, uh, we've already filleted the fish. And we had to supplement a little bit because, as you can see in the video, our fish catching wasn't amazing. Um, in our defense, we were only out there for about 45 minutes to an hour each day. We didn't use any electronics. We just went out, drilled holes, prayed that we were gonna find something in each of those holes. So, it wasn't the great fish catching that we were hoping for, but we supplemented it with some that we caught this last summer in Michigan. And um, so right now, I'm just getting ready to make some fish tacos. I've already put the olive oil in with the fish fillets. I've mixed that up. I've added a little bit of regular Everglade seasoning. Um, thank you, Robert Arrington, for turning this on to that. It's awesome stuff. Um, anyway, I already added the regular Everglades. I mixed that all up, uh, put some aluminum foil on the pans, sprayed them down with some Pam. Everybody knows Pam. Pam the Blam. She's a good gal. And then we're going to put on a little Everglades fish and chicken and a little bit of Michael Alrix. All right, a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken. Just sprinkle that in the belly. When I get this all seasoned up, I'm going to use some of this. I'm going to use some garlic salt. We're going to Cut a couple limes, add some fresh lime. Whoa, that's more than a little bit, huh? Back up just a little bit there, Alan. Get all tight. Alright, whole lot of garlic. More than I wanted. A little bit of Lowry season salt. garlic butter pats up. That ought to be plenty. Throw it in the microwave. Hold it down. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. 
All right. Ooh, look at that yummy goodness. A little bit of garlic butter. Try to do a controlled drizzle. Chopping up some veggies, get the radishes ready. I mix those up with some carrots and some lettuce. Get that all put together. We'll see how that all turns out. Huh? using like six radishes and whatever I have for carrots there. It's just what we had left in the fridge. So I'm not really measuring anything out as far as that goes. Ripped off a little bit of a head of lettuce. So how many of you actually got out ice fishing this year? We didn't have a very long season here in Indiana. We only had weeks where we could actually get out and we were busy enough with other things and solos and ensembles. Savannah just had hers last weekend, Alan had his the weekend before that so we were just getting out when we could. Got to work every day of the week. The weekends are full of coral and ensemble so not much time to get out and uh, do much in the way of ice fishing. And now it's gotten pretty warm Somebody said, why don't you just use a bag of lettuce? Well, guess what? They put preservatives in that that my body doesn't care for along with others. So, I'd rather make it all fresh. And all of a sudden it's done, like that. All right, it's time to check the fish. Let's see what we got here. This one is a judge. Let's see if it's done enough. That's looking mighty steamy. Oh, that's nice right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, nice and flaky. Flaky, good. Cover that back up. Let it stay warm till the young daughter. It's home. Our internals are all made up. Now, I remind you, this is the first time we've made fish tacos first that I have. Darcy tried some while back and did pretty good with them. Uh, so I'm going to put a little of this magic sauce in here. Baby Ray's honey mustard and 
some lime juice in it, along with radish, carrot, and lettuce. Let us pray. Let us pray this tastes good. Okay, so now our tortillas are all heated up. Our fish is ready. Our internals are ready. We'll see how it turns out. Catch up with you in a minute. I'm gonna make one up for Alan. Let him be my guinea pig. perch in here, there's some bluegill, there's even I think a bit of walleye in here that we caught up in Michigan. What do you think? Look alright? A little bit more of this? Lots of butter and guacamole. Guacamole! Alright, young Jedi. You want to switch me places here? I think I got her folded up good enough for you. It's never good enough. Just See how that hits you. Throw it out the window or nothing? No, it's actually really good. All right, awesome. All right, I guess we'll get your mom in here. Get her on it. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. We'll see you in a little bit. What was that? We'll see you guys next time on the water in the woods. Until then.